day folks, welcome back to my neck of the woods. My name is Dika, where I share my experience, my knowledge, hope it's a lesson you're learning from. So today I have another product with you. It's a deer drag or a deer sled or something to drag your um, supplies into the woods or uh, ice fishing, however you want to use it. But it's advertised as a deer drag or a deer sled, hence the deer hooves in the middle of it here. So, before I get started, please sub the channel, like the videos, and make some comments. You know that I love comments. That's going to help me make better reviews. The more feedback that I get, the more people want to hear about certain products. So this deer sled here is made by a company called Terrain Outdoors. You can go on the website, terrainoutdoors.com. I'm not affiliated with them by any means. And you can look at this. They make a couple things. They make this sled, they make another sled, and they make a couple... Um, like hard plastic, like uh, deer blinds for the most part. They're, they're huge, some of them. Um, there's no prices on the website, so you can contact them and ask them where the nearest dealer is, but for the most part, the best way to look for this sled is to go online and Google deer drag or deer sled green. And eventually, as you, as you look through some pictures, you're gonna come across this. I bought this on Amazon probably about 11 years ago. I might have bought it on eBay, I really don't remember. And it retails anywhere from $30 to $50, depending on the company that you go from. I spent about $40. And like I said, I've had this for, I'm thinking, 11 or 12 years. Now, there are other sleds on the market, and I'm going to tell you why I think this one's a little superior. And I think I've tried them all. I had one by Hawk that had these wheels that rotate, and you could, it went up and over rocks. It was good. It was heavy as hell, but it was good. Um, I had the little one that kind of rolls out, like uh, the, those old uh, sleds that we had when we were kids. And um, it, it's just a, a piece of plastic, and then you put the deer on that, and that folds over. Um, I had the one that's a, it's an orange harness, and then you attach it to the deer and you go to drag, drag it out. I've had that one. Um, I've had the other one where I think it's uh, traditionally called, I think it's called a dead sled where it's uh, boxy and it's got this big lip in the front and I have this one and I have a friend who got this one also and we just love them for the most part so like I said 30 30 uh, 30 to 50 dollars on the website when you find it just google it and you'll find it you'll find a picture of it usually and then you can find it all right so I'm going to give you some specs on it here it's six so I'm going to give you some specs of this one. On the website, it says that it's 65 inches long, 22 inches wide, 5 inches deep, and it weighs 4 pounds. This model, and I don't know if it's just an older model and they changed it, or you may be able to find this model on one of, one of these websites, or eBay, or Amazon, or wherever you're going to go. So this one is 65 inches long. I'm 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 6'2", so it's you know, 65 inches long. Um, but mine is 24 inches wide from here to here, so it's a little wider, and mine is six inches deep, which is a little a little deeper. Now, and uh, it, I I I would say that it weighs four pounds. I didn't weigh it, but I mean I can really just hold it with my two fingers. It, it's not heavy at all. Um, as you know, as I've told you, I've had this for probably about. I think 11 or 12 years and I you can see the bottom I have beat the heck out of it to the oh, we got blood on it uh, to the back the back is starting to peel here for the most part but it is still a great sled it really comes up and over everything I think it's just based on the design it's got a little bit of a lip here on the front and this plastic just comes right up and over everything at the end of this video, I have um, two videos of people dragging deer on this. And um, just to give you an idea of how easy it goes up and over everything. I think a lot of the, the, um, the simplicity and how this works really well is this rope system right here. It's kind of like a shoelace. So I just retied this. I used some, some heavy grade paracord. But for the most part, it had, some, had that sort of... Um, call it twine that almost has a plastic feel to it um, but I have used uh, I what I did before is it broke and I kind of just tied it together and used it again 
and this is my second time restringing it and I've used the paracord so I figured I'd do a review on it. How it works here it's like a shoelace so you can see it's strung on the back here for the most part two knots right at the end there and when you put your deer in it or you put your equipment that you're dragging across the ice or if you're bringing in equipment so you're going to set up stands and sticks or whatever you're going to do you can put it on this so this will pull in this is attached to here you know, and you get a little slack so to speak you know you get a little slack on this side you want now and then you get a little slack here so much right then you put your deer in there put your deer in there and then when you pull it tight you know you're going to pull everything tight and what that's going to do is that's going to lock your deer or your equipment or everything oh, things are falling. Um, everything in there and so the harder you pull on this when you're dragging the tighter this is going to be on your deer and holds everything in and you can, you can put you can tuck their legs in there you know if you if you still had your bow or whatnot with you if, you, if you're solo or whatnot you put your bow in there and everything's going to hold in nice and tight you can even take you can even take it a step further sometimes if you've got a buck you know sometimes the head hangs off the edge you know and the, the antlers catch everything you can take a bungee and you can just put the bungee like right in the holes underneath and that will hold in too but for the most part it keeps everything right inside now the video is at the end i hadn't restrung it yet so i got into the woods with my my, my friend mike and it had broken and so what I did is I just took this heavy gauge paracord, and you'll see it in the video. I just made a knot here and a knot here and a loop. So in the videos, I didn't get to showcase how this sort of shoestring design works, but I think you can gather how it does work. Uh, you'll see. So the first video um, is uh, my friend Mike, and he is dragging a 180, 190 pound gear. He's doing it solo. I didn't leave him to do it solo. What we what we do when we drag is we take we'll cut off a, a like a sapling or a, 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 like a beech tree or something like that. We'll cut off a section this big or take like an old stick, something that's hard and rigid and isn't gonna break. Something about this long, and we'll put it right in the end and make like a T-bar with it, so we can both kind of drag at the same time for those, for those bigger gear or equipment and whatnot. So the first one is my friend Mike. He's dragging uh, roughly a 180, 190 pound deer. And you'll see um, how it's not too bad. It just goes right up over. And you'll see that I don't have these on there. The legs are kind of hanging off. But even so, it goes right over the leaves, right over stumps, right over logs with, with, with ease. Uh, the second video is my friend Jim. And he is dragging a about a 100 pound doe that he got. And again, I didn't get the, um, the shoestring I, uh, I haven't I hadn't restrung it yet it was earlier in the season, uh, but you'll get the gist of it. Um, how he can just drag it real easy. What I'm doing is I'm behind it and I'm filming it with, with my phone, uh, just as an example. But it's hard plastic. It's durable. Um, you can easily stick it in the back of your truck, in the back of your car, and it's never a problem. And having this design with the ropes I mean you can really get any sled and then just do this yourself you know but it's a good $40 for a deer sled and I've had it for quite some time now my friend Jim had bought one afterwards and I, I noticed it the other day when we came out of the woods because he had used mine I'm like is mine wider than yours and then I went on the website and it turns out that the, the model that they're selling now is two inch two inches smaller mine's two inches wider so I don't know if there's there's two models out there that you can buy. All right? That's all I got for you. Sub the channel. Help you go out and get the gear dragon. I'll talk to you later. Be well.